Hello guys, welcome back to another A Day in a Life video. So today is the day before Thanksgiving and it's a slow day because holiday is coming and today I am the only one that's working from our team. So hopefully nothing critical happens today because none of my bosses are gonna be here and my seniors. So I hope to be able to handle everything here on my own and I am gonna share with you what I'm gonna do today with the projects that we are completing and also just what a slow day looks like. I have to do a few tickets but nothing that's really urgent or critical or difficult to do so if you're interested in this A Day in a Life episode at work please keep on watching and without further ado let's get started working. So first ticket that we have today is just simple user is requesting for a spare monitor so it's not a hard ticket to close today I just have to find the working monitor that we have and figure out what connection she needs because it's gonna be her third monitor so she might need an adapter to connect the monitor to her PC because two main ports for her computer is already used so the difficult part of this ticket might be looking for an adapter if we have one and yeah just figuring out what connection she might need. So I found this monitor and I'm just gonna test if it's working and the issue is it has like older Ports. it has DVI and VGA I might not be able to find an adapter so I'm gonna keep looking if we have newer models with display port and HDMI port okay so let's look into a bunch of these monitors if they are newer so this looks better because it has display port here HDMI and VGA more options Okay, I'm gonna test this if this is working and we should be able to grab this one. Okay, so this request is a little tricky because when I checked her computer, her display ports were taken. Uh, she only has USB that is available and it's really hard to find adapter that has USB port to like a display port or HDMI. But I managed to find HDMI to USB. So. Hopefully this works. I'm just gonna test it out because it might be the last one that we have here. So let's try it out. I didn't have to install drivers for this adapter from StarTech. This is a USB to HDMI. Okay, so now I'm done with the request and close the ticket. That was an easy one. Since it's a slow day today, I decided to make use of this time to do stuff from our backlog. Like setting up spare computers just in case someone's computer is broken. At least they can take a loaner one. So I'm going to be setting up hopefully a few computers today. So we have this Nook computer and this is a really portable computer and it's perfect for those that doesn't really do heavy work on computer and also is working hybrid so here to set up a computer we have to image it with the standard image that we use so that's what i'm going to be doing today i'm going to show you the steps that we do to image a computer so here's the computer the nook and i just plugged it into all the peripherals and most importantly the ethernet here so it could connect to the network okay powering on now the pc and i wanted to get to boot menu or boot order so for this pc we do f9 and just make sure to select the flash drive because we are not booting through network or pixie 
So it's just gonna go through the steps. You have to enter our password and select the you know correct image for this computer and it's a very easy process. You just have to click on next and let it install and it usually takes three, three to four hours to image a computer. So that's it. I'm just gonna leave it there until it finishes and we have a spare computer now. Okay, so we are also working on a project and that is to upgrade the editor's machine. And since I'm working in a broadcast media station, editors are very crucial to our to our company because they edit all of the content that we produce for people. So they also need machines that can handle all the editing that they have. And I think the old ones that they have is five years old. So we just wanna give them a more powerful machine this time. Okay, so these are the new machines that we are gonna used to upgrade the older editor machine and these are HP Z6 and we are upgrading 15 of the editor's machine. So this HP Z6 is a powerful machine that we're giving the editors to handle all of their graphics and editing and the RAM for this is 96 gig so that's really powerful for any computer. For the processors of this Z6 we have Intel Xeon Silver 4214 and that has 12 cores and that is so much faster than the average Intel processors like the i7 and maybe the i9. That is going to give you a really powerful processor that can handle all the graphics that you have. Especially if you are going to do heavy editing. For the graphics cards for this machine, we use this Aja Kona cards. So they also support a wide range of creative software for editing, gaming, streaming. They support from 8K to 4K, HD, HDR, streaming capability. So this is really perfect if you are into heavy editing. So this is the graphics card that we use for this editor machines. For the software that we use for the editors, we are using Adobe Suite. So they have the Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop Pro, all of the Adobe products installed on these machines. Also, one of the tasks that I have to do in this project is to work on a script for Adobe that loads the default standard templates and presets for Adobe Premiere to all of the editors that will be working on this machine. So we had their manager export all of the standard templates that they're going to use from the resolution and you know the settings that they have for their editing and export it to a file and we use that file to load into all of the editors users account so when they log in with their username the template will be loaded into their account and all of the templates and the standard settings will be set for them they don't have to set the templates and the settings manually it will be automatically loaded and so i know i'm blabbing too much about the process but that was one of the tasks that i'm given and we used bash scripting for this okay so that was the overview of our project to upgrade the editor's machine Okay guys, so it's now time to leave. I've put my coat on and I got my stuff ready. And as you can see, it's dark outside now even if it's only 5 o'clock. That's Chicago for you. So, let's go home now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. And I'll see you in my next videos. Thank you so much for watching.